but it's good to read. But there are situations God can give you knowledge that you do not have. God can give you ideas, even ideas. Business ideas, hallelujah. Great ideas. God can put them in your hearts. Amen? Number three, he was strong in faith, looking not at the circumstance. He kept his eyes on the promise that God's promises are unchangeable. You see? He kept his eyes not on circumstance, but on God's promise. That's the secret of success. Keep your eyes on the promise of God, not your circumstance. He was trying, going, kila wakati, anakauka. Amede akua nini, miaka inaenda. Lakini, he never looked at his condition. Hallelujah. And that's how healing comes. When you don't look at your condition, look at what has God said. God said, by his stripes, I am healed. You continue looking at that. Let me tell you, last day you find yourself there. Healed. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. That is in Romans 4.19. So the circumstances may be growing worse and worse. There are sometimes you are praying God and you are asking God to do something for you. But maba inadeakuwa maba? Mabaya. Hallelujah. Yenzi, tunaraga sangapi? Tunaraga sangapi? Yenzi wanaraga sanane. So, ukiona jensi ya nasinzi ya mwambio, ni jensi. Hallelujah. Mwana nasi ya na wanaraga saa sita, saa nane. Tu. Umesike yo, jensi wanaraga? Tu. I'm about to finish. I'm in a second finishing now. I'm finishing. Let's go. Amen. Okay, okay. So, the circumstances can grow worse and worse. Amen. But do not look and consider them. You have God who is higher Bigger than your circumstances. Who can sing with me? Bigger than any problems. Bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain can ever, ever see. Bigger than all your challenges. Bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain. Hallelujah. If you have that an attitude that God is bigger than anything you can go through. I'm telling you, you can succeed in anything. In anything. Hallelujah. There's no mountain that will weigh you down. Because you know your God is bigger than anything. It will make you hold on hope. You hold on hope on God. Because you say, God, you are bigger than this thing I'm going through. Praise God. Number four, he never allowed unbelief. Instead, he kept on giving glory to God. He never allowed unbelief. And he akukubali kuweka shaka. Aliyadaya kusifunani? Mungu. Imagine na sifu mungu na auja yona miaka inaendelea. Mamba inaendelea kuwa mangumu lakini na sifu mungu na bia mungu. Mina jua. It shall happen. I know it shall happen. I thank you, Father. I know it shall have it. Hallelujah. I know no matter what. And then you say, I know God will do it. And I continue to thank God for it. I continue to praise. Abraham continued praising God and honoring God in the midst of his circumstances. That means you see beyond your circumstances and see God doing it. You see God accomplishing it for you. Hallelujah. There's a pastor whom I know, a friend of mine. I'll call him a friend because he used to minister in our church. Hallelujah. He used to, he trusted for a car, say for a car. But he never had money to buy a car. Do you know what you do? Faith sometimes is foolish. I go and family yake asubuhi wakienda church. Na kufungulia mlango ingia hapo. Hiyo ni gari, ingia hapo. Let's go to church. Okay, okay, let's go to church. It looks funny, isn't it? A man telling this to his children, acting this way, it looks sound like, Amen. But you know, one day, he was just given car keys, like this. I said, this is a car. Drive. He used to tell us, as a testimony in church, how what he does, that I believe God for a car, and he will drive the car. Every morning, he say, my family, get into the car, drive it, and go. It was foolish. It would be foolish if you do it without faith, it is foolishness. If you don't do it without believing, it is Foolishness. But him was not doing it out of a game or foolishness. He was doing it out of the faith he had 
until you could see, angaona ile gari, you could see it. Hallelujah. Praise God. So there is what you call many contrary evidence will be brought to you. Evidence. Yaani mambo yale yamekuzingira aionyeshi chochote kile Mungu amesema utapata ama utaenda utakuwa. In fact, ni kinyume. Ni kinyume. Well, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever thought about Joseph? Joseph, he said, mutaninamia, but he is in prison. Whatever is happening, Joseph's life is opposite. Ametolewa kwa Potifa, amesingiziwa, amefanya nini? He has raped somebody. Ametupwa gerezani. Is he, iyo mambo inanekana positive. Is he talking about where he is going? Hallelujah. It's opposite. He was getting worse and worse. But that is not what Joseph held. Joseph held on the promise, the dream I saw. Say the dream I saw. He held, I saw a dream and I'm holding to that dream even when I'm in prison. When you do that, the Bible says the favor of God was with him even in prison. When you hold on to God and his word, his favor will hold on you wherever you will be. Ever worst place you are in, his favor shall keep you. Hallelujah. His grace shall keep you. Say the grace. Hallelujah. Praise God. So when you have that assurance of faith, whatever succumbs us, hata kama mambo inaendelea kuwa, ati nikuwa naombea familia yetu, badada waendelea kukubaliana, sasa hata nikuwa chana wameachana pastor. Wakati nikuwa naombea nikuwa pamoja, lakini nikuwa chana sasa wameachana, Hold on on faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Ukiona kwanza ikiendelea kuwa mbaya jua Mungu ameanza kufanya ka? Shetani amekasirika because anaona ameshi. Sometimes that's what happens. That's what unaona Joseph anasingiziwa. Aingizwa gereza. Gereza. Kumbe Mungu is still pushing. Number 5. I'm finishing. Hiyo number. Nimekisha ngapi sasa kumaliza? Amen. Who was keeping them? No, I'm in, I'm in number three. Okay, I have three. I have three more. Okay, thank you. To pick up my coffee, Missouri. Hallelujah. He was fully persuaded on the ability of God to perform his promise. He was fully persuaded. How do you persuade somebody? Many times, we are persuaded to do wrong things. Hello? Many times, you are persuaded to do wrong? Sinequali. Most of the persuasions you get as youth is to do wrong things. Yeah, kucha ni kuonyeshe. Niliona, niliona. Kucha ni kuonyeshe. Unapelekwa. You find it is wrong thing. Hallelujah. But now instead of persuade, being persuaded to do wrong things, let us be persuaded by the word of God. Hallelujah. Let us be persuaded by the promises of God. What God is saying about us. Let us be persuaded. Because when you are persuaded by the word of God, you stand there. You cannot be moved. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You cannot be moved in the hope of eternal life. You cannot be moved in the hope of, 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 of blessings. You know that God will do it. And he'll do it. And I am a testimony. Me, I always say I'm a testimony. That you can hope in God. One time, a man, you know, I was a basketball player. Nikuwa na chesa basketball in high school. Nikuwa ngapi wanajua basketball? Nani wanajua basketball apa? Nikuwa ngapi wanajua chesa? So a colleague of mine took you from four. I go and chase a basketball. Sasa tu, so na juato na ina kujaga the first the first time. Sindio. Then after once we were talking and he told me, "Kwa me I think at university university seats are what you come asisi. Universities see comes. Then I looked at him. I what what did you say that university are not for people like us? Then I asked him, they were built for who? Amen. I told him, I'll go there. He said, I'll go there. And from that day, Nikaweka Karani Kidogo. Najo Kunamutu Nikiona Ide Jona Ningia Nayo Nagaka Kureka. If you come on a Kuja Kualibu Fe Yanguna Kueka Karani Kidogo, Nikaka Karani Kidogo. I don't know him. Let's say there's power of words. He never went to the university. But I passed. Hallelujah. Not because I was very bright. But remember, I put my hope. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I believed I can go there and God can help me go there. You know you can become somebody. Do you know you can go back to school? 
You can tell me, I don't have money. Yes. You can say, where will I get money? In the from four, I cannot go to college. Yes, a man I know, that day I knew him, he had a car, he did not have a car. He was living a better life. But he told us one thing. Arianguka fare from four, arianguka. Sema arianguka. Meaning I went there. Send you. Like in the Ariada, Akajua Mungo, the Pajua Yesu Christo Kasema, my life must change. I know the promise of God. Aganda Kandiko Watchman, Sema Watchman. Sena Mjakaria Sasari Watchman. Hey, G4S. Eh? Akandiko what? See, squeezy. G4S are good. Those say you go watchmen. Here, I mean, I go to Kabuni. Kuna kanyu bakana kana 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 kanyu bakama kaumbo. Na kana kampwa. Kanyu bakapa kama kaivi. Sindio. I go na kapa. So he decided to go back to school and began to do what we call KATC, a certificate in accounting. Sindio. I go say, maybe kama shara di kona di poapo. I kanza kufinya kidogo na safe. I can enroll. Kuaza nini certificate. Alikuwa na somiaga, alikuwa na pea wakazi ya, ya ukata ata mawua, sindio? Anakata ile mawua, wakata yako free, anada kwa kare kanyubaka watchmen, anaso. Alikuwa fanya mutiani ya kwanza, akanguka. Akangu? Kama niwe ugesema, ishi ya hapo. Iyo, iyo nimetupa mbao, nimetupa pe. Apana, akarudia, sema akarudia. Akaendele apiri, akapi? Akaendele hivyo, akamarisa certificate. Akasema sa, nitaenda did pro? When Turikwa Tunamjua, when I met him, he was an accountant with the CPAK. You know CPAK? And those days, CPAK was so eh? prestigious. Somebody who was an accountant, and he was an accountant, and he was an accountant, and he was an accountant. Praise God. Because I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, there is hope. Say there is hope. Hallelujah. So be fully persuaded by God. Be fully persuaded that his promises are true. They don't change. When what God says I am, I am. Tell your neighbor, I am what God says I am. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. Amen? Learn to walk by the grace of God. To be by the grace of God. Not of your power. Not of your strength. But by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? Hebrews 13, verse 5 says, God is telling you tonight, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So you can say, you can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Mungu anasema, sita kwa chiria kama, sita koma. Kwa hivyo anasema, mungu diya musaidizwa, ama diya musanda wangu. You can boldly say that God, Jesus, is your helper. Hallelujah. Because you have believed in his word. He will never leave me, no? forsake you. Do you know even when you are going through trouble, he is still with you. Do you know when you are very down, that's when the angels are with you so much. Because I see angels in the Bible when Jesus was in the temptation for 10 days, an angel came to strengthen him. I see when he was at the same at his weak point, angels came to strengthen him. Angels will come to you. Hallelujah. I'm finishing. I'm remaining two. Okay, all right. Amen. So what am I saying? Do not die when you are living. Do not die when you are? Tell your neighbor, do not die when you are living. The worst death, let me tell you, the worst death is not the person who has died and you are buried. That's not the worst death. The worst death is to die when you are living. You are walking, but you are dead. <laughs> You are sleeping, but you are dead. You are eating, but you are dead. What that means, you are going nowhere. You know, there are people who wake up. You ask them, how are you today? I'm fine. They wake up, but they are nowhere they are going. They're just waiting for the day. I mean, to make it better, to go to Hallelujah. There's nothing dangerous as entering a vehicle that is not moving. Aina ata, aina ata wheels. I love na shika steering pale. Aina wheels. Ata aina ijin. Una zaku pereka idega. That's a person I'm talking about. Is dead but is living. Hallelujah. Are you getting me? So do not die when you are living. Live the life of fullness. God wants you to live a life of fullness. That's why Jesus came. Amen. A life of purpose. 
alive with hope and peace and full of strength. Hallelujah. Do you know a person who has hope, you cannot kill that person. Let me give you a scenario of two people. One time, a person came to church. And he had relatives. And he was saying, Mimi, I'm going to die. Why are you saying that? Don't you know? What's our power? Me, I'll die. I'm praying to him and saying he's going to die. Do you know he died? Because he was hopeless. Hallelujah. What has a son? Then there's another man who was to be operated and he was told very few people after operation they wake up from that operation. They die. Okay? What has a son? But he said, he looked at the son. Akangaria son, Jua. Akasema son, Jua. Before he went to operation, he says, You son, tomorrow I will see you. What was he saying? What was he saying? Jua nita kuanake? Erikuana samanini. Though people die, I will not die. Yes, the next day he was done operation. He went to a coma. He went to a coma for the four days. I think three days in a coma. But after the coma, he sat up on his bed. And he saw the son again. And he lived. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Those are two people. Have a life of hope. You can see tomorrow. Have a life of hope. Tomorrow, today I am not in tomorrow rich. Today we do not have money. Tomorrow we will have more. Not even money. More that we can help others who do not have anything. Hallelujah. Today, we are living in a place you do not like to invite the pastor to visit you. But tomorrow, you will be hosting pastors and men of God in your house because you have a great place. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is hope. And that hope, if you put it in your heart and it sinks, do you know what it becomes? It becomes. It becomes. Hallelujah. Praise God. So let Christ be your anchor of your life tonight. We hope in what we trust. Tell your neighbor, you hope in what you trust. But everything else apart from God is passing away. It's an unstable anchor that cannot support you in the day of trouble. Anything away from God, anything not God, if you have put it as your support, I'm telling you, it will pass away. It is unstable. Put God, put Christ as your anchor. Let come back to Christ. I'm calling somebody. I'm calling somebody. When you are, the last conference, you knew God. After that conference, you went to school. You are convinced during music festival or it was being during football or whatever, you're convinced. Or when you go to school. Now, you are no longer with Christ. You left the anchor. Tonight, come back to, the, to God. Tonight, come back to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Tonight, there's a coming back. Come back to hope. Come back to where your hope is. I'm calling. God is calling you. Hallelujah. Amen. Come. Because other things cannot give you peace. Come. Where you can get prosperity. Honor in Christ. You can have that. Let's stand up. Now I'm finishing the fourth. The fifth time. Let's stand up. <laughs>